Arcadian Collection is a family business. My husband and I have been working on Arcadian Collection for over 15 years now. We live in Europe on an eco-village and we have horses and cows and our children have grown up with the, the crystals and gemstones all around them and have really grown into amazing little beings. This is, uh, this is our studio here. Katie and I built this back in, uh, well, a few years ago. This is an octagon and we polish gems here and do jewelry design and we also record music because we're both musicians. So when we work with crystals and gems, I mean, for me, they're really, they're really like a living organism. Um, and they're an example of sacred geometry of nature that's been recorded in time. If you imagine this crystal growing in the mountains, growing deep within the ground over millions of years in a perfect crystalline structure, recording the history of our planet, celestial events, the seasons, the slow ebb of time over eons as mountains have risen and fallen. And it's all recorded in these crystals. It's the same way they have different colors and hardness, texture and, and crystal growth. They also have different energetic properties. And for thousands of years, man has really revered crystals and gemstones for these various properties. I've been close friends with Jacob since high school. And I actually went to college with Katie. Uh, but we kind of fell out of touch for a while as, as life kind of took its course and then back in 2008 we we met up again and and I uh, came to visit them here at their eco village and uh, that's when I was introduced both to their family run jewelry operation as well as the gemstone moldavite and quite honestly my life really transformed I was really so taken by the care that they put into the pieces that they produce you know uh, visions of Jacob leaning over the the, the gem trays, you know, s selecting individual stones, making designs, and then, of course, with this mystical extraterrestrial gemstone, um, I was really compelled to, to be involved somehow. Out of all the stones we work with, molivite has always really been our specialty. Um, and it's not like other crystals and rocks, like I talked about how crystals are formed within the earth. Uh, molivite, of course, was not formed within the earth. It was shaped by the elements of nature, but it was formed through a celestial cosmic event. A very large impact of an unknown extraterrestrial object hit the area that is today southern Germany, and this impact created a melt. It was like an alchemical event. Of course, like alchemists were always trying to do, take a base substance and turn it into gold. Well, this took a base substance of Earth and fused it with this extraterrestrial material, ejected it back up in the upper atmosphere, and then it rained down in what is today known as the Czech Republic. Almost all of these stones that can be found in quantity came into a very specific area in southern Czech Republic, what is known as the Budivice Basin. And uh, this basin at, at the time was an ancient lake, a very large lake, even you could call it a small sea. And now all of today's localities, almost all of the rich localities, are along what would have been the shore of this ancient lake. And that's where we find real authentic moldavite. You know, one of the things that, that really just amazes me about the moldavite is that, you know, I kind of wonder sometimes, okay, 12 to 15 million years ago, this, this meteorite struck Earth, but before it arrived here, I mean, how long was it, was it flying through space? I mean, is it, is it millions of years or could it even be billions of years? Um, you know, this was a cosmic event, a, you know, celestial happening here on Earth, and only now are we starting to resurface this, this stone and, and discover, you know, how it's being used, uh, ways of healing, uh, meditation, transformation, uh, overcoming obstacles. These are all things that it's personally, you know, done for me, and I'm sure there are many, many beautiful gemstones, but there is none that has this cosmic origin. And I hope that when we send these pieces out, people will feel those cosmic vibes. And uh, it's certainly something that's, that's always in our minds and hearts as we're, as we're working with this, with this collection. Sometimes people call in and they ask me how to choose the right piece for them. And I always say that working with Moldavite, the first step is use your intuition to open that side of yourself. I've had several customers say that when they were choosing a piece, they, they found one that really almost spoke to them, that called out to them. And, uh, and then when they received that piece, 
It was like they'd met a long lost friend. All of our jewelry is, is one of a kind. Most jewelry companies prefer to get calibrated gemstones so that they can then be inserted into a cast design. So you would make an initial mold and then you would cast that design and then you could just pop the stones in and basically mass produce it by the hundreds or thousands. We really prefer to make everything by hand because that's how we think of our customers. We think of our customers as individuals and each one of our customers as unique, special people. So they also deserve a unique, special piece of jewelry or stone. Many of our customers are so excited when they open the package and they put the piece on for the first time and they just never want to take it off. It's a real honor to be able to work with these stones and to give the real stones to people who, uh, who are looking to change their lives, to heal, just to wear something pretty.